Hi everybody and welcome to the Country Music Time Machine. This is your host Kevin. You know one of the main thing, if not the main thing that makes the USA great are those that not only sing great music but also honor the USA by serving in the military. So right now we're going to be honoring and saluting many country stars that also put on the uniform and serve their country. Some of these may surprise you, so make sure you stay tuned through the entire episode. As always, your comments are welcome and please subscribe. Our first honor goes to a fellow that was born in Poteet, Texas. Who do you think was born in Poteet, Texas that served in the military? Some may even consider this fellow the king of country music. I know it's controversial, but just wanted to put it out there. I'll let y'all fight that out. But the fellow born in Poteet, Texas and serving in the military was George Strait. He proudly served his country. Like my dad, George served in the U.S. Army from 1971 and 75. My dad was two decades before that. And George was stationed at Schofield Barracks in Hawaii and obtained the rank of corporal. George has long supported the military community. He has helped out the folks over at militarywarriors.org where they offer specialized supportive services to our nation's combat wounded veterans and heroes and Gold Star families. The program focuses on home and vehicle ownership outdoor recreation, life skills, financial education, and leadership development. So, thank you, Corporal George Stray, for your service. Next up on our list of country stars that are also military veterans takes us way back to 1942 during a live broadcast on his radio show, Melody Ranch, and at the Pentagon's request, he was inducted into the Army Air Forces as a technical sergeant. Gene Autry was a pilot in the service during World War II. Gene left the service in 46 and took many medals home with him back to the ranch. So, Flight Officer Gene Autry, we salute you, sir. Next up, we have a devil dog that was also a possum. Think about it. All the U.S. Marines know what I'm talking about when I say devil dog. And if you're a country music fan, you know who the possum is. George Jones enlisted in the Marine Corps in 1951 while the Korean War was going on, but was never sent overseas. He was stationed at Moffett Field Naval Air Station in San Jose, California. Even in one of George's clearest memories from his time in the service centered on music, George has told the story of coming home to the base at 4 a.m. That sounds like George Jones. After a performance on New Year's Day, 1953, and learning that one of his idols, Hank Williams, had died. Thank you for your service, George Jones. We continue saluting our country music military veterans with this man. This is Harold Lloyd Jenkins, better known to country music fans as Conway Twitty. Harold was actually drafted two times, once by the Philadelphia Phillies Major League Baseball team. Wow then by the U.S. Army in 1954. He was stationed in Japan and had a band called the Fuji Mountain Boys that won awards. Harold left the service, or Conway Twitty left the service in 1955 and became known as Conway Twitty and became a legend. We salute you, Private First Class Harold Jenkins, Conway Twitty. Our next military veteran was super talented and also a very funny guy. At 17 years old, Roger Miller ended up in a lot of trouble. He stole a guitar in Texas and was later busted in Oklahoma for the crime. That, ladies and gentlemen, makes a country legend already. He had a choice of either going to jail or going to the Army. He chose the Army. He was shipped out to Korea in 1952. One of his greatest lines was, my education was Korea, clash of 52. Roger served three years and later became a big country star and we still love Roger's music. So we salute you, Roger Miller. Now we have possibly the funniest guitar playing actor and country music singing military veteran. Mr. Jerry Reed enlisted in the army in 1957 
His MOS, or military specialty to us civilians, was band member guitar player. Now, that makes total sense for Jerry. He left the Army in 1959 and went on to a great career. You can hear him often on our Crazy Country Music Song series because he's got a bunch of them. So we salute you, Specialist Jerry Reed. Now it's time to honor a Navy veteran, and this one might surprise you. Donald Eugene Littles. You know who that is? Johnny Paycheck was in the Navy in the mid-1950s, and of course, that did not change Johnny's crazy ways. He assaulted an officer, and that landed him in the military brig for two years. He got out, kept on being crazy, but made some great country music, and revisited prison multiple times. On a side note, like his father, John Paycheck, the son of Johnny, also served in the military, and according to his website, johnpaycheck.com, he is still serving as an army aviator in the reserves. Our next country star and military veteran grew up a lot like I did. His father was a US Army Air Corps officer, so that made Chris Christopherson an army brat. I was an Air Force brat, but Chris was most definitely one tough dude and a smart fella too. He joined the Army in 1960 and became a U.S. Army Ranger. His specialty was flying helicopters. As someone that also went to flight school years ago, flying a helicopter is not easy. And Chris was just super smart. In 2011, he received three Veteran of the Year Awards at the American Veterans Awards. So, Captain Chris Christopherson, we salute you. Even old Willie Nelson. Maybe you didn't know this, but Willie is a military veteran. Willie enlisted in the Air Force in 1950, but only spent a few months in the service. After nine months, he was medically discharged with back problems. Next up on our list of country stars that are military veterans is one who is still in the U.S. Army Reserves. The singer of Redneck Yacht Club, Craig Morgan, has served for over 17 years. In 2023, Craig Morgan re-enlisted in the Army Reserve on stage at the Grand Ole Opry. He said at the time, I love being an artist, but I consider it a true privilege and honor to work with what I believe are the greatest of Americans, my fellow soldiers. God bless America, go Army. Thank you and we salute you, Warrant Officer, Craig Morgan. And finally, we can't do this episode without reminiscing about the military service of one of the greatest country music legends, Johnny Cash. We all know that Johnny was a tough dude. His military career proved that he was a tough dude as well. Johnny enlisted in the Air Force in 1950 during the Korean War, but was stationed in West Germany where he served as a Morse code operator actually a Morse code intercept officer. Here is an amazing fact from history. While serving in Germany as a Morse code operator in March 1953, Cash intercepted a Soviet communique that spoke of the death of the Russian leader Joseph Stalin. It is believed that Johnny Cash was the first Westerner that heard of the death of Joseph Stalin. That's freaking amazing. A few days short of his fourth complete year in the service, Cash was honorably discharged. So we proudly salute you, country legend and staff sergeant, Johnny Cash. Do you have some memories of a country star that was also a military veteran? I would love to hear from you. And if you are watching right now and you served your country, I salute you as well. And I really thank you for your service. Until next time, this is Kevin, your country music captain. Let's keep it country, right here on the Country Music Time Machine.